uh, real quick before somebody joins Curtis, when you leave, uh, do you have the power to just kick me out of the call on Discord? Yes. I do totally. that once you leave. Do that once you leave, please. Okay. All right, looks like the connection has been made. The Fire Nation is receiving is receiving your transmission. All right. Everything should be all clear. All right. Uh, all right. So before before you get into this, uh, I need to give you an update on the, uh, the 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 OSHA situation. Yes, Prime Minister Lee or Curtis, as I have been calling you as a courtesy. You, you know, you know what, you know what? I, I, there, there's a million Lees. You know, I, I kind of just want to roll with it. I know that that what's her name, Milton Lord, literally called me that as a joke. But you know what? I'm, isn't I'm his name? Isn't his name actually Lee? Well, yes, but as a courtesy, I have been calling him. Curtis. Oh, like Curtis C. I get it. Yes, that is yeah. exactly what's happening. Yeah. That's dumb and I hate you. Anyway, we beat this level uh, already, but it loaded yes. me back here, so yes. I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, so before before, uh, before you get onto this, um, I we, I do have to ask you one thing in regards to the uh, the OSHA stuff that's going on. Alright. Ugh, this again. More regulations. Uh, yeah, let so, me hear so, it. So, so everything's going uh, going as, as as you've wanted. Like, uh, like uh, we, we're almost done compiling all the info from like all the various facilities on the Fire Nation, and we've almost got that done so you'll be set to review all that pretty soon um there is one slight problem that we're gonna encounter unfortunately and what's that um so i feel like generally everyone wants this everyone in the council is is for this they're they're really wanting to go the safety stuff pack the problem is though is that um per your agreement with the earth king we are gonna have some problems trying to get this passed for the colonies <sighs> okay well as long as that's not our problem. Who cares about the colonies? Let them die in savagery. Okay. They wanted Azula, independence. Azula, it's Azula, their Azula, problem Azula, now. Azula, 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 please. No, I'm serious. As your advisor, it's their problem now, for better or for worse. You have no authority, no sovereignty. You gave them their independence. If you interfere, even to help the poor savages, it will be seen as you grasping power over them. You cannot interfere. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Actually, she's right. I am right. I'm always right. Listen to me more. Uh, Prime Minister Curtis, you seem to have a slight echo going on. Uh, are the acoustics really bouncing around in here or something? I'm not sure. I do not hear it on my end, but apparently our viewers can hear it. Oh, no. Well, I'll I'll be I'll be brief a anyway. So 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 uh, they, they basically that was all I was asking. Is should should we should we uh, should we try and propose uh, a joint venture with the Earth King for the colonies as well, or should we just leave them to their own devices? You know what? Se we should send a re we should uh, send a letter to the Earth King saying that we think it's wise that they do this, but ultimately it is neither up to me nor the Earth King. To force them to do anything. Mm -hmm. Azula's right. Okay. If I try and do anything by force, it'll be seen as an act of tyranny. Okay. Yeah. I I, I, I concur. I concur. I think this is a this is a very good call. Wow. I, I can't believe uh, Azula's actually giving you sound advice here. I always give sound advice. Like that time I told you Grandpa was gonna kill you. I gave you sound advice. Run away and don't die. It's not my fault you didn't listen. Hmm. All right, alrighty then. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, I will leave you to getting your your honor back in this simulation or whatever you called it. I, it's called a video game, apparently, according to Azula. Come on, get uh, started. Yeah, all right. I will, alrighty, Prime Minister Curtis. Then. Thank you for visiting. Right. Uh, good luck. Yes. Uh, 
and remember to uh, remember to do the thing after you leave to uh, yes. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thing. All right. See you later. Do the thing? What is that? A euphemism? No, it's something we discussed. Just something before. going on with Prime Minister Lee slash Curtis. I mean, he works for me, so technically, yes. Anyway, what's this about holding an episode hostage, Azula? Oh, yeah, I did that. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say regarding that? Yes, I will only release it once you get your honor back. Right. I thought you needed someone to help incentivize you. Anyway, I'm back at our home base, but now... Nobody... I've watched it, by the way. You have? I saw that May was on the thumbnail, and I was like, no, she miscalculated. She should have feared me more. So, you know. All right. Suki's just giving me an update on what's happened since the White Lotus betrayed me. Well, you better get going, because if you don't get your honor back this episode, then episode five is not coming out. He shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havlock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Oh, I have a message from you. Oh, what's that? It's from Aang, Katara, and the rest of the gang. Oh, what is that? It goes, it's a song. It's a song? Yes. What kind of song? Do you want me to sing it for you? Sure, go ahead. All right, I'll sing it for you. This is what the gang has to say. <clears throat> Zuko, Zuko, don't think that we don't care, but every hope and every prayer is on you now. That's what they sent. That was very lovely, Azula. But you're not gonna win if you don't get your honor back! Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, someone says, Zuka, you should make her play Arkham Asylum after this? The fools! I have the Arkham games practically memorized! <laughs> I love those games. <laughs> I, I I know what game I'm gonna have her participate in. I Don't worry to... about it. Well, no, I know. But you... I hope it's the Arkham games. I have those so memorized. I have like a special order I play them in. I have inside lore. I know where all the secrets are. I always get every single Riddler puzzle. You'll know every every uh, riddle, every trophy. I hope you're gonna pick the Arkham games. A sloom. I'm going to beat up John Claire. All right. I need to rescue you again. Hey, Azula, how are you able to fight Aang so well, despite no one having seen or fought an airbender in a hundred years? Oh, well, that's easy. No matter how good your opponent is, they're limited by how far they're willing to go. So when you're fighting a pacifist, well, there's only so far they're willing to go. Okay, good. This is actually really good. If I can get to the top, then I'll have easy access. Azula, I bet you could do an excellent Catwoman impression. Uh, let me see. You tell me. <clears throat> you handle the punching. I'll handle the quips. Meow. Mass Effect and do a good playthrough? Easy, I'm a good person now. Okay, close that door. You really better do this, Zuko. If you don't beat it, they're not getting episode five, and it's all going to be your fault, and everyone's going to hate you for am, all time. I am working on it, Azula. I'm trying to rescue you, and also the mechanist and the one artist guy. Azula, I wonder how you do with a horror game. Oh, I love horror games! My favorite part is when Sokka screams in the middle of them and startles everybody. It's hilarious! Exactly like that. Yep, that's soccer for you. Zuko is way more afraid of horror games than me, huh, Zuko? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I wasn't screaming at horror games, I was screaming at our internet speeds. <laughs> Alright, Zuko. Everyone's, everyone's counting oh, on you. Fix at some point in time. Thanks, Sotaro. Fix the internet so Zuko can get his honor back. 
I know, Sokka and Satoru are just here today. I, they're looking for episode 5, but they're not going to find it. You keep trying, Sokka, Satoru, you won't find it. I've hidden it in the one place neither of you will ever, ever think to check. I got my detective hat! I'll find it! You can try! Alright, I rescued the mechanist and the artist guy. Who cares? That's not what you need to do. Get your honor back. Well, the mechanist can give me last minute upgrades to help me get my honor back faster. Oh, Zuzu. Even when you're strong, you're weak. Here's a question. Zuko, what do you think it would have been like if Ozai was the Fire Lord instead of Fire Daddy? What was that? I don't understand. They're asking what it would have been like if Ozai was the Fire Lord. But he was he already was. the Fire Lord. He was Fire Lord. Maybe they meant Iroh? I guess, uh... I mean, I kind of know what Uncle would do. He always said if he was Fire Lord, he'd create National Tea Day. He probably would have been a horrible Fire Lord. I... Uh, he probably would have been... He probably would have been a good one. He was... He was supposed to be it for most of his he life. He was the dragon of Ba Sing Se. He dragon killed... of the West. Yeah, the dragon of the West at Ba Sing Se. He killed so many people and laughed about it. Well, I'm not denying what... If he... Luten hadn't died and set him on the path of redemption, or whatever you call it, he probably would have been a more brutal Fire Lord than Daddy. Daddy spends too much time doing his hair and being beautiful. Unlike Uncle, who's like, Drink tea and get fat, Zuko. Ha 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 ha. Oh, look, everyone's asking for episode 5, Zuzu. Remember, if Zuko doesn't get his honor back, you don't get the episode. So blame him. I remember. Oh, we got a super chat. We did? Zuko, you are an excellent big brother. <laughs> well, Aww. thank you, whoever, uh... Wasn't that lovely? It was very lovely. You don't deserve it. Why? Why do I not But it was lovely. Sula, I... They... <sighs> Can't... You're just trying to get to me? So slow me down. <laughs> No, I want you to succeed. Why do you think I'm doing this? To motivate you. Right, you and proper motivation. Azula, since you're a big Batman fan, who's her favorite Batman villain? Oh, that's a good question. I suppose probably Poison Ivy, because she sees that the world is being run terribly by men, and she wants to fix it by killing all of them. And you know what? I vibe with that energy. What about you, Zuzu? Who's your favorite Batman villain? Um, it's, it's Scarecrow. Why? He, I, I like, I like him. <laughs> you don't have any deeper reasoning. Well, than I that. do, but I don't exactly have the ability to focus right now. Zuzu can't multitask. You guys ever heard of Fire God Liu Kang? Yeah, Zuko's a fan. I'm more of a Melina person myself. I prefer Frost. <laughs> Ouch. Azula, would you want Aang or Sokka as the Fire Lord? Hmm, good oh, I question. Oh, got, I got an achievement out of that, even though I died. I guess that's fine. Sokka really doesn't need the extra stress. He's already neurotic enough being the son of the chieftain in the Southern Water Tribe. On the other hand, Sokka would definitely be easier to seduce for power. Hmm, that's a good question. I'd have to think about it. Question for Zuko and Azula. What roles do you think you both will play in the gang movie and Zuko spinoff? You're in a movie? I'm in a movie? I think it might be a documentary. Maybe it's a propaganda film. Are you making propaganda films? Uh, if you do, I'm really good at propaganda. I brainwashed the entire Dai Li. I, I'd have to go over it with, you know, my prime minister and everything. Captain Manning, we've tracked the conspiracy to the Hound's Pits pub, searched the premises for the natural philosophers Piero and Anton. Ooh, Dimension here's a good materials one. materials lead to the enhanced arc pylon. They've been constructing, question them thoroughly, and once you're certain you have everything they know with the pylon, execute them both, bring the pylon to me along with the papers. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they're also traitors. I'm keeping Empress Emily calling me at the lighthouse. Sorry, so I know where you are. <laughs> We're certain that Zuko and his fellow conspirators have been properly dealt with. Okay. Here's one. Azula, you're the most amazing, fierce woman ever. The rightful heir to the throne and so much better than Zuko. Where are you hiding, episode five? <laughs> Don't flatter me. You are never even a player. Sorry if I'm not as attentive. I am on a time limit now because Azula... Decided the stakes weren't high Someone enough. Someone asked why Firefly isn't our favorite. Probably because he's a pretty bad firebender. He has burns all over his body. <laughs> Sorry, who, why, who isn't our favorite? Firefly. Zuko's a fake Batman fan, oh, unlike oh, me. Oh, Firefly. Yep.
Ooh, we got another one. I have some money. Lol. Ooh, it's from an emperor. Look at that. You have an emperor who's a fan of me. Your sister. Azula, I gotta know who you would choose as your lifelong partner between Jet and Haru if you had to choose. I have no idea who either of those people are. Who's Jet and Haru? Uh, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure who Haru is, but Jet is the... Well, Jet's, for one, in the game, that he's the ghost who's been talking to me. Two, he was a freedom fighter who I met on my way to Bossing Se. He, he apparently... He hated the Fire Nation with a passion. Like, a really big passion. Azula, who would you prefer to use as your partner, Tai Lee or Sokka? That depends. Is both not an option? I like them dumb and pretty, but secretly actually smart, but they act... Ditsy. Doesn't matter anyway. They both have it bad for Suki. They can't treat me like this. They can't treat me like Zuko. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that's... That was a terrible impression. Callista Fretnotic. You did a terrible impression, for... apparently. I... I, I, I'm a little on the fence right now, so I'm, I'm sorry. Calesta Fretnot, I believe there is still... Zuko's stressed. He's trying to get episode 5 out. I don't believe out. Zuko is gone. I'll be searching the river for him, but if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the launcher I placed in Azula's tower. I'll make my way back as quickly as I can. Keep this tower locked and take care of yourself. Okay. 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 Alright, so I did all the essential things. I got the blueprints. I know how to contact Samuel, you know, n whose name's totally not just Lee. So all I have to do now is get over here. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Fire Family. Thank you, Azula. You can do it. You can do it. Stop talking to peasants named Lee. Well, this isn't Lee, this is the Mechanist. Oh, whatever, they're all Lee to me. Alright, I did that. The arc pylon is complete. Now to activate. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system. Alright, what was that impression I did badly? Lightning bending? I think a machine that basically does lightning bending on a massive scale. Wow, look at what they need to do to replicate even a fraction of my power! Oh, so I can either put them all to sleep or burn all of them. Well, what are you gonna choose? They are- they betrayed me and they kidnapped you. But who are you deep inside? Look inside yourself, Zuko, and ask yourself the hard questions. Do I burn my enemies and get rid of them forever so that all can know that they shouldn't cross me? Or do I show mercy and look weak but sleep better at night? At the end of the day, I'm not my father. I mean, not the choice I think smart people would have made, but I respect you sticking to your stupid convictions. Hey, Zuko, any luck finding a thick earthbender girl, somebody asked. Oh, that's not anybody's business. <laughs> the answer's no. Okay, now I just need to get an oil tank. Azula, you must look within yourself to find your other self and release episode 5. <laughs> I'll release it as soon as Zuko finds his honor. I'm working on it. Zuko lost to someone? Apparently you lost to someone in something called Death Battle. That doesn't surprise me, though. Of course you did. Azula, what would you want to do if you were to become a Fire Lord in the future? Ugh, please. I wouldn't want to. Being Fire Lord is just limiting. Why be Fire Lord when I can do all of them? I told you, I've been Earth Queen, I've been Fire Lord, now I just need to become Chiefess of the Water Tribe, and I'm set. Right, of, of, of course, of course. Oh, somebody's quoting, is it uncle, or did you say this stupid thing? You must look within yourself to save yourself from your other self. Only then will your true self reveal itself. That's what I 
said, trying to imitate Uncle. Wow, I can hardly tell the two of you apart. Thank you. I try. Zuko, I want you to know that you want just not wanting to be like your father is proof you could never be as bad as him. Thank you. Of course you can never be as bad as him. Have you seen Daddy's sense of style? He's a bad bitch. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. You know what? I understand that, man. I believe men such as Havelock's Yeah, I do too. High mind intention. Same with Mont, and maybe even Pendleton. Though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close. Also the highest rank monk of the Air Nomads. You only have to best Aang to get that title. You're right! I, I already bested I Aang! I guess I'm also is. the head abbess of the Air Nomads. What, who is this? This is Zhang Zhang. Who's that? Oh, he was an old firebending master in the White Lotus. Who... Oh, General Zhang Zhang? Yeah, General the Zhang Zhang, the deserter. That's who this is. That's who you admire? Deserters? Well, he was a deserter to a cause that I don't agree with. I will never understand your priorities, Zuzu. He's also... He's also the one who Zhao swore against because that he happened to be Zhao's teacher. Azula, what's episode 5 going to be about, and how many episodes will be in book 4? Oh, I don't know. It's Episode 5 has three stories in it. One is Zuko whining to Uncle about how he needs to get married and who he's in love with. Um, and then May has a story about what she's doing. And then the last one is about Aang and Air Nomads and what happened 100 years ago or something. Right. Alright, you've been taken in a boat. You're at the lighthouse. I was able to figure that out. Ziran asks, when are you paying us, Azula? Ziran, I freed you. What price can you put on freedom? Who's Ziran? That's what I thought. Don't worry about it. Uh, all right. You don't have to know about every person I know, all right? I'm allowed to have a life. Well, no, I was just curious. And, and if I want to commit domestic terrorism all by myself with my girlfriends, you really need to let me live my life, Zuko. You're so oh, controlling. Domestic terrorism? Wait, what? Ziran says, trying to live a life when everyone knows you've broken out of an asylum is hard. We need money. Zuko, I need money. You, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy paying for a lot of reparations. That's kind of what, that's the purpose of these. This is It's not my fault you're bad at spending. Azula, do I need to remind you of that treaty that you wrote? Multipower says, Zuko, after thinking it uh, over it, I honestly want to say I'm sorry for what happened last stream. I didn't realize was, I was doing the same thing your dad was doing. Oh, don't worry about it. That's just Zuzu and I having trauma responses. We've been doing that since we were babies. Yes, yes, we have. We have been doing that since we were very, very little. I'd say Azula should give Zuko Riz lessons, but I don't think that would help much. You're right. Zuko just can't be taught sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Yue. Thought I'd find you here. Never pays to bet against you, does it? Hi, Lee. Oh, I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's play, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Okay. Hey, Sokka! Yeah? If Zuko doesn't get his honor back, I'm going to destroy episode 5. What do you think? What? Our work! Alright, hold on. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. You're wasting time, but I that's up wanna, to you. I want to make sure that I don't... Listen, all the enemies have been put to sleep. There's a prime opportunity to see if there's any missing loot that I can track down.
No, I mean, you ain't got Riz, love. No offense, but we know what happened at that beach party. I know, he doesn't have Riz. I remember, I was at that beach party. He was being completely ridiculous with May. Alright, this is Lao Bei Fong. Under the couch, what? He never thought to find his honor under the couch. Why would it be under a couch? Have you looked under a couch? If not, how do you know it's not there? This could be your foolishness. There's no way that my honor would be under some random couch. I simply refuse to believe that. Azula, what have you done with the search episode? Oh, I don't have the search episode. It's episode five, the last one before the search. But if you guys want to know about the search, there's an original scene we've added to it starring yours truly. I mean, Zuzu's in it too, but it's mostly about me. Azula is very prominent. Which is, let's see, which is the better persona, the blue spirit or the Kamuri Kage? Oh, that's the, easy. Yeah, of course. The, the Kamuri Kage. Spirit. No, the Kamuri Kage. The, no, the blue spirit. The Kamuri Kage has, like, history. It's a legend. It, it strikes fear into people. The blue spirit was a wanted criminal of the Fire Nation. Yeah, that's bad, Zuko. No, that's good because it was a, it was a reign of the Fire Nation that is that was bad. The Kamuri Kage are from our history. It's our people's culture. Well, the blue spirit's a lot like the painted lady from that one village. It's I'll never understand spirit. you, Zuko. You have no patriotism at all. I'm Fire Lord! I am the patriotism! If you say so. Azula, how much would you bet that Zuko is actually able to find someone to marry? I mean, if you can't find someone to marry when you're the Fire Lord, then you're kind of hopeless. Hey! Uh -oh. Okay, this is Lee. All right. There really are a million Lees. More health. Take those. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go save Azula for the second I've time. I've seen art of Zuko ex Azula. Well, of course you've seen art of us fighting. We do it all the time. Yeah, no, that that's that's perfectly normal. I'm surprised you don't see more of that type of art. Why did the spirit temple ditch it for the book to look? I've tried to ask Peter Wartman to draw the look on Instagram, but he didn't respond. Pretty sure they did it to reset me in time for what was it? The propaganda films that are coming out. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. You're both wrong. The best persona is Wang Fire. Excuse me, Wang Fire is not a persona. He's a Fire Nation hero who died in the line of combat. All right? Put some respect on his name. <sighs> All right, this is the final level. I'm gonna not fighting of ships. What are ships for if not for fighting? I don't understand. What else would you use a ship for? Like a carnival cruise? Transportation? Satoru, Thank you, Satoru, we're talking about royal things, not peasant stuff. You can use all the transport ships you want. We're talking about, you know, privileged things, elite things. You wouldn't understand. Foul hours and tea. How, Zuko, how is it like having a sister that traumatized you? That's not a nice thing to say about Kiyi. Yeah, I, for one, Dad traumatized me. Plain and simple. There's totally art of you fighting and not doing things such as kissing. I'll kiss him right now. I don't care. I'm not afraid. What? I'll kiss you right now. I'm not a coward. What? Wait, wait, why do you have to kiss me? I don't have to kiss you, Zizu. I can do whatever I want. Okay, I'm confused. I'm a little disappointed. You're disappointed, Lee? Well, you are disappointing. It's been interesting traveling with you. But this is the last time. 
last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Zuzu. You can't hide that deep down you're one of us. You try to pretend you're the sweet little dainty awkward turtle duck, but deep down you're still Fire Nation. All right, well, goodbye, Lee. I guess I won't be seeing I'm you I'm curious, anymore. could you guys do a story about someone stealing the Blue Spirit armor and making him a Red X-type character? Funny enough, the Blue Spirit itself was kind of stolen from the Red Spirit, right? You got yeah, that from that's, an actor? Yeah, I got that from an actor named Hong Shen. So in a way, that's already been done. I apologize, I got his name wrong last time because his son is Zen and he's Hong Shen, so I combined their names to Zhen by accident. A forehead-loving sister kiss. Do you want me to give you a forehead loving sister kiss? Yes, I do. Come here. Mwah. Thank you, Azula. And just so it's not too awkward, I'll punch you too. Ow! There you go. What the heck? You know. So that you wouldn't get upset. I know you don't like change. Anyway, here's a map. You like maps. I do like maps, actually. All right, so I know that you are being held in the lighthouse which is this area. Mm -hmm. I'm all the way on the opposite side, so I have to get through this giant fort and make my way to the lighthouse to rescue you and, and get my honor back. Looks easy. Oh, by the way, do you like Luffy or Zoro more? I like Luffy more. I like Zoro more. Well, there we go. There we go. My favorite is actually not in that category. Who's but your favorite? My favorite is Sanji. My favorite is Nami. All right, well, there we go. Well, there we go. Bless you, Wolf. Oh, hi, Sun Sun. Oh, is that Sun Sun who sneezed? That's Sun Sun who Sun Sun's cute. I've grown fond. So for those of you that don't know, Sokka has these two baby wolves that I've adopted and I love them. One is called Sun Sun. Well, he named one Moon Moon because he's not creative. So I jokingly named the other one Sun Sun. Who's better at stealth, Azula or Zuko? <sighs> I think we have different styles. Zuko likes to do the breaking and entering stealth, though he never plans ahead, so he has to rely on raw skill and often it goes badly for him. I'm more of the mental stealth, where I don't need to sneak in to your base physically. I sneak into your mind and you let me in. So you know, mine's better. One's not necessarily better than the other, they're just two different approaches. Oh, you really love him? I've always loved him. I just think he's pathetic and he needs to get his life together. Yeah, I don't want you saying shit. What? No, I'm talking to... Not you. I wasn't talking okay, to you. Okay, you better. Oh, great. Hold on. I need to... Take that. Are Sun Sun and Moon Moon siblings? I don't know. Sokka! Are your two wolves Sun Sun and Moon Moon siblings? Sokka doesn't know. He just kind of found them. We may never know. Azula, are you sure you didn't steal those wolves from Sokka like you stole a certain other thing? I like how they assume I stole them. Well, I mean, you did steal that letter that Hakoda sent to him. I didn't steal it. I found it. How many times are you going to accuse me of that? What's going on there? I don't know why I wasn't able to choke you out, but all right, I guess, I guess you're dying. I won't lie, Azula. You look pretty fire in the Kyoshi Warrior outfit. Why, thank you. Personally, I think May rocked it pretty well. But May had to do the eyeliner for all of us because that was a lot of, of makeup we're not used to doing. Ty Lee did the rest of the makeup. She loves that kind of thing. I guess it's the theater kid in her. I guess so. Anyway. I don't do my own makeup because I'm not a peasant. TikTok, Zuko, if you want to save the episode. I'm, I know, uh, this is literally the last level. I am, I am slowly making my way to back towards my honor. Wait, who is that? Hold on. You know what I haven't done in a while? Proper fire bending. <laughs> About time you remembered your roots. Was the makeup super heavy? It was very, very hard to remove. Uh, it's, it's like an oil paint that they use. That's why it's waterproof. It doesn't dissolve in water. 
Azula, why don't you just go talk to Hakoda if you want to? I'm sure he'll be nice to you and maybe even write you an actual letter. I already have a letter from him. It's fine. My letter. It's my letter. What makes you think it's yours? It says Kasaka. Uh, that was just him speaking in code. I don't think it was just code, Azula. Okay, well, you have your interpretation and I have mine. I am being... Literature is open to interpretation and letters are literature. That's enough out of you. Zuko, you can do it. You restored your honor once. You can do it again. They believe in you. Thank you. I just gotta... It remains to be seen if that's a good idea, but they do believe in you. Oh, okay. I see what I can do. Possess this rat. Go through this vent. Now I'm in the fort proper. Hell yeah, we love you, Zuko. You got this. Chad is rooting for you. Thank you, guys. Azula, if Zuko beats the episode in time, can you release the episode tonight? If he gets his honor back, I will absolutely release it. And you know I'm a person of my word, because I'm a good person now. <sighs> Bed, wed, behead. Aang, Katara, and Sokka, both of us. Bed, wed, and behead. Oh, that's easy for me. I'm gonna let Zuko get through this part first. He's not good at multitasking. Uh, yeah, hold on. Gee! Uh, Alright. That was brutal. Alright, Zuko, wed, bed, and behead, and Katara and Sokka. Uh, uh, Mine's easy. Wanna hear mine? Sure. Uh, behead Aang because I've already killed him once and he came back to life. So I'm a good person. That's the easiest one to kill and, and rely that he'll be back. Uh, bed Katara because she is a true warrior and the only one worthy of my respect. And wed Sokka for the political power so that I can uh, insert myself into the water tribe and conquer them too. Easy. All right. Wed Katara, bed Sokka, behead Aang, because Aang will just come back as a different avatar. And also, he's kind of my grandfather, so the other two don't feel right. I was going to say, if you bed Aang and behead Sokka, because I wedded Sokka and you wanted revenge. <laughs> I momentarily considered it, but... <laughs> Figures, but I get it. Aang is kind of our great-grandpa, isn't he? Yes, he is. You were part of the nation that murdered Hakoda's wife and imprisoned him. Why would he ever write to you, Azula? Let's see how you like this. I okay, was so. a child. What does that have to do with me? I didn't kill his wife. I was a baby. I was like eight years old when it happened. I would hope Hakoda wouldn't blame me for something that happened when I was eight years old. Do you think he blames me for his wife's death? Why would he blame me and not you? Wait, who blames you for their wife's death? If someone said you were part of the nation that murdered Hakoda's wife and imprisoned him, why would he ever write to you, Azula? But what did I have to do with Kaya's death? You I was were, like... Weren't you nine when that happened? No, I was eight. Eight? Why would anybody blame you? I don't know. Look, Katara blaming me for her mom's death was not the right thing and we worked I mean that, you so. did betray her and yes yes that she she has a right to. and you did help get the person she loves and and respects and has all her hopes and killed and brought back a lot of trauma about losing her mother okay yes but not but the point what did anyway. I ever do all right that's one white lotus member down are you killing the white lotus now well they they tried to kill me and they have you kidnapped so yes I'm killing <laughs> Tezuko and Azula, if you had a devil fruit, what would you have? Personally, I'd have the ice fruit. The ice fruit is a pretty good choice. What devil fruit would you want to have? I don't have a very intimate knowledge of all of them, but I know there's a fire one. I, I Let's see, the there's three one. types. There's Parmesan, uh, Zelones, and the third one, right? Um, I'd want one of the god ones. Uh, I... They have dragon ones. I know they have dragon, Slovia dragon ones. Zone okay, Why thank you, Satoru. Satoru know that? Because he's Satoru. <sighs> I w Satoru, they have dragon ones, right? Like dragon, dragon ones. I want one of those. As far as we know, there's no dragon fruit. Dragon, dragon fruit. About that there are two 
characters can turn into dragons, but they never specify if it's fruit related or not, considering they're father and son. Dragon, dragon fruit. The Pi is a Lie is working on compilations. Did you hear that? Oh, I really loved her first one. This is why Pi is a Lie is my favorite member of chat. Do you really think Kakoda blames me? I, I, I honestly don't. I'll be very upset. He was really nice to me when I was there. When I picked on Sokka, Hakoda yelled at him about it instead of me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think Hakoda blames you. Why am I not jumping? What is going on? You're so bad at this. No, Zuka. I am not. Like, no, I am not, Azula. <laughs> I have been doing wonderful this entire stream. <laughs> Denial, but all right. No, you just have to. You just can't ever pay me a compliment. Of course I can. I just told you I believed in you. I sang for you. You well, just don't appreciate anything I do. You didn't write that song. That song was written by other people. The second song. Okay, the second song, yes, you wrote. Thank you for you that never one. give me any credit. I do give you credit, Azula. If you had to choose between the Water Tribe, Earth Kingdom, or Air Nomads to be born amongst, which would you choose and which would you avoid at all costs? Sorry, what was that? If you had to choose to be born between the Water Tribes, Earth Kingdom, or Air Nomads, which would you choose and which would you avoid at all costs? I'd avoid the Air Nomads at all costs. Oh, meat. true! <laughs> they can't eat meat. Not only that, we know how it turned well, out for yes, them. Well, yes, but I wasn't referring to I that. was. I suppose I'd probably go for the Water Tribe because water pending and lightning pending have similarities, and I'm already the world's greatest lightning pender. So just make it easier for I myself. I choose the Earth Kingdom to be Because you like dummy thick Earth Kingdom girls. We know, Zuko. Then what? Fine, fine. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Thank you. Oh, jeez. All right, they got... The difficulty went way up this last level. Do you want me to do it for you? No, Zuzu? absolutely not. All right, okay. I admire you not giving up at least. Ooh, another bed wed behead. Toph, Boomy, and Suki. Oh, easy. Behead Boomy, because I have no respect for old men who stick around past their prime. Um, bed Suki, because, I mean, look at her. I have a thing for those fans. You know, fans... Don't you know they only fan flames? And, uh, wed Toph, because she's from the noble house of the Bayfongs, and I will not settle for a peasant. Mine answers are actually exactly the same as yours, Azula. About to drop the most boring question for Azula and Zuko. What is your most favorite science subject? Do you even have a favorite science subject? Didn't you drop out after middle I school? I never got to take a proper science class. He got banished when he was, like, 13. <laughs> As for me, physics. You know why. Zuko, what was Combustion Man's real name? It was Lee. Stop it! You're so funny. Zuko and Azula, I did my security exam. I got 60%. It's kind of annoying. I need 62% to pass. So stupid. Well, listen. I think that's terribly unfair. So you go back in there, and you get an even higher score than you were expecting to get. So whether you pass the second time, they look foolish for giving you a low score. That's the best revenge. The Pai is a lie is a good person, just like you, Azula. I agree. She's a good person. Azula, you can't talk. You killed Aang, tried to kill Zuko and Katara, imprisoned Mei and Tylee, conquered Bossing Se, and imprisoned your own uncle. Okay, one second here. I killed Aang when he was about to launch the Avatar State. All I knew about that attack is that it took out our entire fleet at the north. If I hadn't taken him out, that was basically letting him kill all of us. As far as I was concerned at that time, not knowing he was a pacifist, I was protecting myself, Zuko, and everyone else on my side. As for trying to kill Zuko and Katara, they showed up at my house and attacked me while I was just having a mental breakdown and crying, all right? Sometimes you just gotta cry and have a mental breakdown. So I will not take responsibility for what they did. In prison, May and Tai Lee, they publicly, they publicly committed treason. What did you want me to do? If I'd let Daddy handle them, he would've just had them executed. He wouldn't even hesitated. Honestly, the fact that I had them in prison probably saved their lives. 
Concord Boston say, I sure did. And I did it without spilling a single drop of blood, unlike Uncle. Hmm, okay. I need to do a different approach. Why do I get blamed for Uncle getting in prison? You were just as responsible. If anything, you were more responsible. I didn't, you betrayed him. I never blamed you for putting Uncle in prison. No, I'm saying other people do. It's weird. Well, don't. I'm just as responsible. Oh, you're my favorite too, Azula. I love you. Mwah. You may not be royalty, but there's just something about you that is so regal. Oh, uh, Night in the Starlight. I really loved the the designs you made of me and Azula. Uh, for those dragons you drew for us. Those were really lovely. Forgot I can do this now. How did y'all love your storm rates? I love them! Mine was better, which is perfect! I thought mine was also lovely, and it's not a competition on whose was better. Whatever. I loved it. I think it was excellent, and I will never forget it. I actually, uh, I pinned it for the rest of the leadership to see. <laughs> Don't you know fans only make flames stronger? That is true. Favorite kaiju? Hmm. I know Zuko really likes Mothra. Lame. But I'm kind of a classic Godzilla kind of girl. I mean, King Ghidorah reminds me of Daddy, but Godzilla, misunderstood, blue flames. I mean, what's not to love? Can you both tease plans for the rest of book four in your own words? Uh, expanded search, which explores our relationship more, not just our relationships with mommy and daddy. Uh, what else? More exploration of Sokka. I know Ty Lee has a whole arc planned about her, doesn't she? Yes, she does. So we're going to learn about Ty Lee. I know May also gets her own arc of self-discovery during the breakup. Uh, Toph has a whole thing going on with her parents. Oh, and Katara. I know Katara has an arc as well. And it's about her becoming the leader of something? I don't remember. I'm not entirely sure at this exact moment. Take that. Wed, bed, or behead Goku, Vegeta, Broly? Easy. Behead Broly because he's a loose cannon. Bed Goku because he doesn't know what he's doing anyway, so you probably could get away with not doing it. And uh, wed Vegeta because he's royalty and I'm not going to settle for a peasant. <laughs> Choose treachery. It's more fun. That's uncle. That's Zuko, why did you ask Aang to take you out? Were you worried you'd turn evil like Ozai? That's exactly why. There's a side comic that has Iroh getting imprisoned after season two, and Azula sets Zuko and May on a date. Oh, don't worry. We have plans for that comic. Question for both of you from a first timer on the stream. Any favorite childhood memories where you got along? Oh, every summer we used to do reenactments of Love Amongst the Dragons on the beach. And I was always the Dragon Emperor because I was way better at it than Zuko. Uh, but one of my favorite I ones... I swear these guys do not... can just dodge. One of my favorite ones is when we both got in trouble and we had to stay home. So we... Uh, at the beach. And so mom and dad went out and Zuko and I snuck out. We weren't supposed to go out on our own into the town to get ice cream. Sure, we both got in trouble and mom and dad argued the whole way back about whose fault it was. Dad thought it was Zuko's. He needed to be a man. And mom thought it was my fault because I was a bad influence. But you know what? Zuko and I got ice cream and nobody stopped us. That's one of my favorite memories. Favorite and least favorite Avatar incarnation. Hmm. My favorite is Avatar Setsu because he didn't care about being an Avatar and saving the world or the spirit world. He cared about paperwork. He was a bureaucrat and he did his job well. He did. He did his job Who's very your favorite well. Avatar? Uh, mine is Aang. Of course it is. He loves Aang. What can I say? Least favorite Avatar incarnation? Hmm. Probably Avatar said so, because while he was a great bureaucrat and he got his wait, work wait, done, wait, wait, wait. he neglected the spirit world. I mean, honestly, wait a second. that just created a huge mess. Wait a mess. second. What? How can, they, how can both your answers be the same? Uh, how are you both my favorite and least favorite sibling? Because I'm your only sibling? Kiyi? Wait, you count Kiyi? She's my little replacement. That doesn't mean she's not my she's sibling. She's not your replacement. How many times do I have to tell you? Here we go again. I am so lost on where to go. Yang Chen is a great choice, actually. Favorite kind of tea? Ooh. 
So I have a specific type of green tea. Uh, it's a gunpowder green tea. And we add like saffron and rose to it. So it's very luxurious as well as milk. And it turns pink from the chemical reaction because they add a little bit of salt to it. And it is delicious. <laughs> that is my favorite tea. Zuko's favorite is this kind of orangey red tea. It has a bit of a passion fruit taste. And I think it's based on a, an Assam tea. So it's a black tea that turns reddish orange by the time he's done with all the seasonings. It has a lot of seasonings in it. Those are our favorite teas. I just need a fast... Is Book 4 also going adapt to adapt Azula in the Spirit Temple? Not only are we going to adapt it, I actually did a Devil Went Down to Georgia parody of it because I loved it so much. Oh, I remember that. Zuka, who's the mother of your daughter? He hasn't had one yet. I don't have a daughter. Azula, what would your field trips be with the gang individually? Oh, easy. Uh, with Aang... He would probably try to get me into spirituality and all that. And I would try to teach him the benefits of killing your enemies so they don't come back. Uh, with Katara, we would probably fight a lot. But I really respect her as a warrior. So I'd hope it'd be a mission where we get to fight people together. With Toph, honestly, I could hang out with her any day of the week. But especially if we're making fun of Zuko. That's my favorite thing to do with her. Uh, let's see who else is in the gang. I think that's... Oh, Suki. I don't know what I'd do with Suki. But probably have a girl's day, finally, away from the boys. I think that's all of the gang. I didn't forget anybody. Right? Hello, Lao Bei Fong. Well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. Stray bullet. Question for both. What are your favorite memories of Lu Ten? My favorite memories of Luten are any time he would try to, to kind of playfully tease us. Because no matter how hard Suzu and I were fighting, when Luten came in, we would unite. Because there's no time to fight your sibling when there's a cousin to fight. And he was a lot older than us. So, yeah, you know, I, he, he could just pick us up. I was and, actually going to say, when we couldn't decide who should be the good or bad guy, Luten would come in, make himself the bad guy. Yeah. Even... Even teamed up, he was just so much bigger than the both of us. I remember he took the fall a couple times when we stole dumplings from the kitchen. Oh, that's And he right. said, oh, it was me. I was just hungry, you know, being a soldier. And because he was, and because he was uncle's son. Then grandpa, grandpa wouldn't was... get mad. Grandpa loved Lu Ten way more than us. Yeah, uh, So a lot of the time, grandpa was very mean about father and about us. And so Lu Ten was always the first to take the blame. I was actually really mad when Uncle abandoned Ba Sing Se instead of burning it to the ground in Lu Ten's honor. That is so disc- I've never forgiven Uncle for that. A true fire prince, as he was, crown prince at that time, would have burned Ba Sing Se to the ground for daring to hurt cousin Lu Ten. I won't apologize for that. I don't care what you think of me. It's all right. Excuse me? I was not screwing my mom, Lao Bei Fong. I'm just. Do you know what memory of Lieutenant sticks out to me the most? What's that? Before he went on his last tour, I was complaining. Sorry. I was complaining that Uncle only ever took you on beach trips and never me. And how angry I was that he played favorites. And he always gave you better gifts and not me. I always got stupid girly gifts that no one cared about. And Luten told me that when he got back, he would take me to the beach if uncle was too busy. And I told him, you better, because if you don't fulfill your promise, I'll Agni Kai you and kill you. And he laughed. And he ruffled my head. And he didn't, like, get mad at me for it. And then he died. So, you know. He didn't keep his promise, so screw him. Who cares I'm, about Lieutenant anyway? I'm so sorry, Azula. I'm not. Whatever. It's his fault. He got himself killed for a stupid war that didn't even matter. Sweet, deadly. I wish he didn't have die. Together. Why didn't you burn it down, Azula? Well, because Daddy didn't want me to burn it down. Daddy, well... Later, he wanted to. But, you know, also, the people that killed Luten, I didn't even know who they were, if they were alive. And I wasn't about to kill a bunch of civilians we were trying to rule over. That was Daddy's whole thing, but... Ugh. Whatever, who cares? Luten's stupid, Uncle's stupid, and I don't care they're dead. 
Well, Uncle's not dead, but whatever. I don't care. You know what's really annoying, Zuko? I try so hard to keep the family together, trying to help you, try to keep you on the right path, and you're always doing things like betraying father during an eclipse, and it just ruins all my plans. I help you at Bossing Say, I try to tell you what's going on, that uncle's a traitor. I just never appreciate my help. I'm sorry? Look, you do a lot, Azula, and I feel really bad that you feel that you get left out a lot especially considering all the hard work you do that I've learned really goes unnoticed, especially by me a lot of the time, and I really do want to apologize for that. Azula, have you seen The Boy in the Iceberg? And if so, what did you think of it? I've seen all those plays because um, in the Fire Nation, all art had to be approved by the crown before it was allowed to be put on. And Love Amongst the Dragons... Uh, the, the Boy in the Iceberg, all of those plays have to go through the crown. And so, yeah, they would get reviewed, and I would sometimes, you know, peep at what was getting reviewed. So I did read it, and I know that Daddy made extensive notes about how they were allowed to portray us. So uh, in the original version, there were some changes, but never mind. I'm not supposed to talk about those. And anyway, Zuko's going to declassify a bunch of the original versions of plays, right? Well, yeah, I'm actually working on that right now. That's yeah. one of Prime Minister He Chris's actually got in jobs. trouble because he banned a lot of the propaganda versions and people called him They pro said I was censoring truth Yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. I was actually very upset. You can that. never do anything right. I was like, all I did was get rid of the censorship and you're calling that censorship? Azula, you could always ask Aang to take you to the spirit world to see Lutan again. Sadly, that doesn't work. Uncle tried for years to find Lutan in the spirit world, but dead people don't actually live the in the spirit, spirit world. The spirit world is not the afterlife. It's just for spirits, so he's not there, unfortunately. Azula, if you were banished instead of Zuko and sent to capture the Avatar, do you think you would have succeeded? Of course I would have. Did you see how quickly I killed him while Zuko couldn't catch him in, like, three years? <laughs> of course. Your Highness, I have both actresses that have portrayed you in live action. Shall I execute them? Of course not. I think the actresses are great. Kill the writers. Just kidding. Don't kill anybody. Or else I can't be a good person. That is true. Not killing is the path to being a good person. Alright, the last rune... Zuko, in the episode The Earth King, when you fell ill after you freed Appa from Lake Laogai, some people say it was overdramatic. So was it dramatic or not? Oh, our whole family's like that, to be fair. Like, the first time Uncle did a good deed after Luten died, he got sick. Zuko got sick. <laughs> you saw what happened to me. We just all get sick after we start changing. It's, it's just part of the family. You'll notice there was never a point where Dad got sick. <laughs> it's like a dragon molting. It's funny because under normal circumstances... It's actually very rare for firebenders to get sick at all. But when you think about it, you know, having your entire life and everything you've ever believed shattered before your eyes, of course that's going to cause complete ego fragmentation. Yeah, you have a point. Was Ozai really going to kill Zuko when Azulon ordered it? I mean, I think so. But I was like, what, nine when that happened? So. Yeah, about that much. We know about as much as we know about it. We were kids. Pretty sure Iroh went into the spirit world searching for Lutan, but he didn't find him. That's true. Uncle tried the same thing, but the spirit world is not the afterlife. It's the realm of spirits, so. In the Avatar verse, people reincarnate after death, right? Well, the Avatar does. I don't know if anyone else does. I mean, how would you even test for that? Yeah. So, I, I don't You'd have to kill someone, and I don't, like... Do you want to try it right now? I'll kill you, come back to life, and come see me. I don't think come that's going to work. No, I don't think that's going to work, Azula. <laughs> it's a non-falsifiable claim. Even if resurrection claim. worked that way, I wouldn't remember who you are. It's a non-falsifiable claim. All right, let's see. It's like Azula said before, you can't please society. It's true, which is why you should just always do what you think is right. Would you rather kill Daddy or yourself... And for Zuko, kill your mother or Aang. I'd rather not kill anybody. Why do people think I want to kill people all the time? Aang I... was the only person in my life I've ever killed, and he got better. Yeah, I, I don't know why people think that you're a, what do they say, psychopath murderer? I don't get it. I am very, very careful with my violence, and I use it efficiently. If I just went around maniacally killing people, I well, saw one person, like, chanting about how you were, like, 
equivalent to this one fictional villain whose name started with an H, and I don't remember how you said it. Well, who cares? They can't compare me. I am who I am. It's also just false. The guy in that story was, like, the worst person. And, you know, despite all the times we fight Azula, you are far from the worst person. Did Luten also reenact some scenes with you both? Oh yes, Luten, well, he wasn't around a lot because he was starting his military career, but when he was around, he played, he did plays with us, he, he Quite played often, yes. Hide and Explode. He actually taught us a lot of games because we didn't know a lot of games. No, no, that, that, she's right. My favorite was the time that I was trying to play Pai Show. And I got accused of cheating because, of course, they can't stand to see a, a bad bitch winning. And I was so little, so I was confused. And I, I wanted to cry. I was like, why are they calling me a cheater? And Luten came over, and he waited, and then he swapped the pieces like he was the one that had been cheating. And, and when they were like, Luten! And he just laughed. And I remember that. I didn't know about that. Azula, what game would you play because we see Zuko playing Dishonored? Zuko said he already picked a game for me, and I'm going to play it next, but he will not tell me what it is. I'll reveal it once I get my honor back. Probably because no game is hard enough for me. All right, that lighthouse... Zuko, you better get your honor back, or episode five's never coming out. Okay, okay. Look, you're at that lighthouse. I'm going to go get you. I'm going to save you. I'm going to get my honor back in the process. Everything's going to be fine. Did you kill that captain on your boat at the start of season two? After he snitched your brother and uncle about taking them as prisoners? No, actually, I banished him. You can look it up. Look it up. It is true. He survived and I banished him to the colonies. I didn't kill him. Oh, I don't have the lighthouse key, so I don't know what the switch will do. Well, okay. So I need to get the key. Where, where would the elevator key be? Can Zuko confirm that you're a 400-foot-tall purple platypus bear with pink horns and silver wings? Well, oh, can you? Works. Can you confirm that, I Zuko? I can confirm you aren't. Well, you're no fun. All right, entering the lighthouse. Zuko, do you do TikTok thirst traps? You could. What's TikTok? If a, if a patron asked us to on Patreon, we probably would. Do you want to do a thirst trap? I don't. What is I, want, I want a thirst trap with you and Sokka. That, what, we're going <laughs> to deprive people of water? Yes, that's exactly what it means. Ugh. Zuko, I swear. What? What could Thirst Trap prob possibly mean? All hail Fire Lord Azula, the rightful Fire Lord. Thank you, thank you. I see some people still have taste and culture around here. I'm the Fire Lord, not Azula, everybody. Question for Azula and Zuko. Do we know what enemy kidnapped Aang in episode 5, or is it a new enemy? Well, I know because I've seen the episode, but Zuko hasn't seen it yet because I'm holding it hostage until he gets his honor back. I need Azula to make a video where she gives us baddie affirmations. I got it. Here. You are enough. You are great. You go out there and you gatekeep, you gaslight, and you girl boss. Because at the end of the day, this is a world made by men. And if you want to burn it all down, you're valid. And if Zuko says otherwise, well, just remind him what happened the last time he challenged a bad bitch. Oh, I have a joke for you, Zuko. You do? What do you say to a Zuko with two scars on his face? What? Nothing. You already done told him twice. <laughs> oh, crap. I almost... Did he just fall? <laughs> I fool. almost fell all the way down. Hey, Sokka. Someone in chat wants you to say it's the quenchiest. That's not me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the wolf. There, that's their, it, that's their uh, impression of me. Yeah, sun, sun, and moon, moon. It's the quenchiest! <laughs> that's pretty good. I have to try some of that sometime. It's actually rather cute that your wolves have an impression <laughs> of you, Sokka. Zuko, hashtag not my fire lord. I love it. We should make that trend. I don't... 
I don't know if I want that trend. Azula, would you date Vegeta? He is royal. He's the prince of all Saiyans. Probably. He is royalty and he is a daddy, so he's just my type. Can I can do a pretty good Trunks briefs. Hey, Dad, what's going on? And Goten, too, actually. Um, Trunks. Yeah, what is it, Goten? I don't even think Kakarot is real. I mean, if you really lived in our lifetime and died for our sins, then how come no one can agree on what his name is? I mean, some people call him Kakarot, some people call him Goku, you call him Dad. <sighs> Face it, Goten. Goku is just a fake lie adults make up so you'll behave. Oh, wait. Does Aang regret destroying the cabbage stand? Oh, what's happening? Azula, do you know Prince Vegeta? He has a channel you can collab with him. I actually do know him, and uh, I was actually trying to get him on the channel. You'll see. He's a friend of mine, actually. He's a great voice actor. Very nice person, actually. All right. I'm going to rescue Azula. Here I go. Oh, brutal. I appreciate that. Oh, wait, you haven't seen it yet. For episode five! My honor has been reclaimed! Oh, just, uh, you don't know that yet. Hold what do you on. mean I don't know that just yet? Just wait. There's one last twist. The what do you mean one last twist? That's all right, because I was going to have him kill anyway. I am going to be Empress. Look, you're going to be Fire Lord Azula like you always wanted. Well, let's find out what happens. The end. Well, not yet. There's one last twist for you, Zuko. What, will what is that? You'll the see. Of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo. No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin the first came to power in an age of terror and corruption, and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. <laughs> Why? What are you laughing about? <laughs> You don't even realize. I don't. Oh, the hey, truth there's... of this game. I lied to you, Zuko. What do you mean you lied to you me? You were never playing you. Excuse me? She will remember you were there. What do you mean I wasn't playing me? You'll see. Figured it out yet, Zuko? You were never playing you. Think about it. The girl that was like me was your daughter, secretly. Wait, what? Which means the Empress would have been mother. Who were you actually playing, Zuzu? Wait, wait, hold. Wait. So you're saying when Lao Beifong said that I was screw. He what? What? I you were playing father the whole time! I. I. I, <laughs> I tricked you! I you were playing us father! I... You fool, Zuzu. You absolute fool. You're if, lying. If You're you lying. had read all of the lore, you would have figured it out. You're lying. You're lying. I'm Azula not. Always lies. Azula always lies. Chat Azula can tell always you. Lies. Azula always lies. <laughs> That's impossible. That's not true. That's impossible. That's why she was your daughter. You didn't get the ending that tells you everything, and you didn't read all the things, but that's the truth. She's your daughter. You told me not to read everything. I know. Oh. Uh. April Fool Zuko! Uh. 
You I got you so good! <laughs> what? You need to think back, Zuko. All those times I stalled you, and all those other times I helped you. As if I was perfectly calculating the time for April Fools. So that you would end right before it, and not suspect! And so you kidnapped the episode just to force me to finish on April Fools? Yes, to teach you a very important lesson! And what lesson is that?! You never needed a video game to restore your honor, Zuko. You did that yourself. Wow, Zula playing along, Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I win again, brother! I'm sorry it had to end this way. Oh, you're... Are you throwing up in distress? That's pathetic. Well, don't get it all over Sun Sun and Moon Moon. or other <laughs> Otherwise, Sokka's going to have to bathe them, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> April Fools, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Why do you do Chad is currently at 42, which is the perfect, perfect number. Apparently, there's a Carrie Fisher in this game. I was not aware of that. You had your honor the whole time, Zuko. I was just messing with you. Oh, you... You made me play this just... Just to... Oh, spirits. <laughs> so, have you learned a lesson? I Stop learned... relying on external validation. Honor comes from within. By following your code and doing what you believe. Even if it's not something I would agree with. If you follow your code and your confidence and your convictions to do what you believe to be right, then you will be honorable. Even if the whole world disagrees with you. Honor doesn't come from outside, it comes from within. So all those games we were playing, all of the wed bed beheads, all of... Th that was all just... This was all just one giant thing to get me to spill a bunch of embarrassing secrets in front of a live audience? No, it was to teach you a lesson to not look for external validation. If you're going to be Fire Lord, you have to be willing to make the tough decisions, even when the whole world hates you. Sometimes doing the right thing is the hard thing, the unpopular thing. And I may not always agree with your stupid choices, which are totally dumb. But the point is, if you are doing what you believe to be truly right in your heart of hearts, then you are acting with honor, and it doesn't matter what the world thinks of you. And you will never be a good Fire Lord if you're only making decisions based on what you think others want. And if you're wondering, yes, I did do all of this because I'm a good person now and I care about you. Thank you. You're very welcome, Zuzu. What can I say? But you uh, can say I, something. I, 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 like sorry. how great I am. You're a good person who does... You are a good person capable of evil things. Well, I just figure, if you can do good things for the wrong reasons, why not do bad things for the right reasons? What? You don't look very happy. What's wrong with you? I, I don't know if you understand the... the... the difficulty of accepting that I was playing his father the entire time? Mm-hmm. Oh, please, Zuzu, it's not that hard. Every time I look in the mirror, I see Mother. You don't see me crying about it every second. Do you, don't you think there's a reason that I keep my hair short and never grow facial hair? Well, get over it. Do it for yourself, not because of Daddy. <sighs> All right. Listen, maybe the real honor was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Wait, I didn't make any friends in this game. They all left and betrayed me. We're friends. Well, yeah, I saved you. you... Hug me. Okay. Sibling hug. Sibling hug. Stab, 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 stab right stab, in the stab, back. Stab, 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 no, stab, don't stab. stab me back. You're the worst. You stab me first. <laughs> well, I'm stopping a copycat. <laughs> I'm going down. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> well, you'll be able to have your revenge when you pick the game. What is it, by the way? Are you going to announce it? Are you going to tell everyone? What game are you going to have me play? What must I conquer to prove myself? And that I'm a good person. Well. Go ahead. Give me your hardest, most evil horror game. Give me your, your most skilled platformer. Whatever it is, I can handle it. Well, 
I was going to announce it at the end of the stream. I wasn't expecting it to end this early. But come on, what is it? Out with it. It's not a horror game. Uh-huh. It's not a psychological thriller game. Uh-huh. Because the truth is, Azula, the game was rigged from the start. What do you mean? What is that supposed to mean? You're trying to copy me, but I don't understand. You'll find out. No, tell me what it is. This is the time to announce it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, all right, fine. Is Azula. it Undertale? Do I have to do a no-kill run completely passive? I can do that. I'm a good person now. What? I'll just manipulate everyone. No, that's, that's easy. too easy for you. I know. I just manipulate everyone. No, that's it's easy. too easy for you. Okay, so what is it? I have prepared a world torn apart by war. Uh-huh. With... Multiple factions vying for ultimate power. Oh, where have I heard that before? All right, sure. And you are a lone person caught in the middle of everything. Same as every day. All right, so it's Tuesday. What game is this? Having to navigate your way and picking your side and ultimately learning what it means to truly be a good person uh, in a bad go. world. All right, stop stalling. So what is it already, brother? When next we meet, whenever that day shall come, Yes. Prepare to be dropped into a faraway, desolate land called New Vegas. New Vegas? What's that? The audience knows. Okay, so I have to, what, get through it and prove I'm a good person? That sounds super easy. Oh, and I'll be there. I'll just help every stupid, dirty, low-on-their-luck idiot peasant that I find. I promise. It's, a bit, it's going to be a bit more complicated than that, but I'll be with you every step of the way, and I'll make sure that you don't step out of line. Very well! I will rescue New Vegas from its own foolishness, and the fallout will be heard for years to come! All will know me and despair with joy! They will fear and love me, because I am Azula, daughter of Ozai and Ursa, the once and always Fire Lord! Well, chat, if you guys have any questions, because this is the last you're going to see of Dishonored for a while. Oh, yeah, and we're not going to be here this week, right? Because I think this uh, this next week we're going to be at Comic-Con? Yeah, we were we were invited to a special event oh, Cabbage, Cabbage Con. Con. Yes. I, I Apparently, some cabbage merchant recently struck it big in the colonies, or, well... We're going to be special guests, and we may have special previews there. So if any of you are going to CabbageCon, please come check out our panel so you can see some top-secret scenes from The Search. I don't know why he said the location was in this place called Ohio. Oh, isn't that how you say hi? Ohio. Oh, right. That is how you say it. They, they, they say Ohio. Yeah. It means hello. Right. Right? Right. And they named the town after this, like, fictional colonizer named Columbus or something. Anyway, you slice it. I'm going to conquer New Vegas, but it won't be this coming week because this coming week we're going to Cabbage Con. If you're there, please come say hi. And like I said, we're going to be showing top secret previews of the search. Things that aren't going up on the channel. Not until the episode comes out. So if you want to come see them, come join us. Yes, yeah, so, and once again, in case any of you are, are aware... This is going to be the... The streams are going to go on a break for a bit because we have Cabbage Con, and then the Fire Palace is going under massive renovations, I think, the week after that. But we'll let you know when we're coming back for Azula's turn to journey through the world of New Vegas. So, don't you have something you want to ask me, brother? Azula? Yes. Do you love me? Of course I love you. I already told you. I love you. I've always loved you. I just thought you were pathetic and had to get your life in order. But I do love you. Thanks. Do either of you think you could survive in Texas for more than a year? All you have is your bending and your weapons and each other. Oh, easily. If, all, if we're together, it wouldn't even be hard. I don't know what this Texas is, but yeah, if we're working together, we'll be <sighs> fine. Why do you think Daddy pitted us against each other? Because he knew that if we worked together, well, we'd be unstoppable. You saw us at the beach, didn't you? You did. That was just one house. Is that the only question you have for me, Zuzu? Are you sure? Isn't there something you've forgotten? Uh, so... I think you forgot something important. <laughs> because I got my honor back, you're going to release the episode now, right? 
What episode? What do you mean, what episode? The episode you took hostage. Oh, I have one more plot twist for you, Zuko. What's that? I never took it hostage! It was technical difficulties! Excuse me? I lied! But then why did... Why did Aang say that you had it hostage? Because that's what I told Aang. Why did he believe you? Because I'm a good person. And because he probably wanted to, you know, give you the confidence to win the game too. That doesn't sound like Aang. Listen, don't you worry about it. The point is, it's almost ready. And it's going to be released tonight. I stake my life on it as the Fire Lord. You're not the Fire Lord, though I am. I'm fine, Fire Lord Regent, whatever. <laughs> the point is, April Fool's to chat, too. I wasn't actually holding it hostage. The original message was from the production team. I just decided this would be funnier. Are you telling me that nobody actually listened to the proper production and just took you at your word? Yes. What can I say? There's just something about me that is so terrifying and inspiring. I guess you are a people person after all. So... We do have it for you. And it's going up. Give it about, what, an hour to render and upload? And the episode will be there. Thank you all for coming. Thank you everyone for who joined us. Episode 5, on its way right now. In fact, I can see them talking about it, that it is currently rendering. As soon as the render's done, they're going to upload it. So yeah, it should be up there in like an hour. Night in the Star, what do you mean you may be stupid? I don't understand. What do you mean? That you may be stupid, Zuko? No, Night in the Star is saying that they may be stupid. The sentence is Zuko, I may be stupid. I mean, you are kind of stupid. Sometimes you do. No, I'm not. Will your father Ozai get redeemed? Ugh. Ugh. I don't think so. He doesn't think he did anything wrong, which makes it a little bit difficult. How can you get redeemed if you don't think you ever were in the wrong? Well, thank you everyone for joining us. We're probably going to have to end the stream, but... I know it's a little bit early. I'm looking forward for uh, The Pie is a Lie, releasing those compilations because they're wonderful. I have been looking forward to that since her very first Join time. us at CabbageCon if you can. No stream this coming week because we're going to be at the convention. But after that, we'll be back with Azula Conquers New Vegas. That is the That's title, actually. That's what it's going to be called. That's what it's going to be All called. All right, let's say it at the same time. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Azula, Azula Conquers, Conquers New, New Vegas. Vegas! And Zuko dies in misery and poverty and patheticness. Excuse me? Sorry, that's just the tagline. Um, yes, Satoru? With the renovations, it may be taking three weeks. Three weeks for what? Next week, oh, because we're renovating the palace? We're renovating the palace. Uh, Satoru says it may be three weeks before the stream because we're renovating. A pipe burst or something. I don't know. Zuko probably made fun of Katara and she burst a pipe. No, apparently Grandpa had the pipes galvanized. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Who cares? It's a lot. Apparently, according to Satoru, it's a lot. Well, we'll make an announcement for sure when we know when the renovations are done, and Azula will be back to conquer New Vegas. Yes. It's anyway. going to be so easy. Good night, everybody, from your Fire Lord and your Fire Lord Regent. It was lovely. Oh, wait. Cabbage Con isn't this week. It's the week after this week. Okay. Well, then my, my mistake. The truth is, we had a week prepared in case I failed to beat the game today, on the off chance, but these last two levels are a lot shorter than I expected them to be. Well, also, you had me to help you. Yeah, I did, and I also got better at the game. And <laughs> I don't know about that one. I beat the game! Also, take time, guys. Satoru, stop telling us about renovations! Just fix it already! What's so hard? Get your little tools, and do your little peasant thing, and fix it! I swear, Zuko, where do you find these people that are always like, the laws of physics! We can't do it any faster! I bet if I shot lightning at them, they'd suddenly figure out how to do it. I found them in the colonies. Well, that's why. You're hiring cheap colony labor. Good night, everybody, from your Fire Lord and your Fire Lord Regent. Say You know what to say, don't you? Say good night, Azula. Good night, Azula. And good night, Zuko.